What about those extra Hammond voices? <laughs> back to another day with Nick Foley UK as it were just wanted to have a quick word with you around the Hammond XK5 voices I often bang on about all the Hammond stuff and I have my uh, drawbar voices stuck gaffer tape down on the C3 setting which is lovely but that isn't necessarily what you all want to do and want to hear is it so I thought I would quickly show you what's available on the XK5 with my uh, trusty iPhone there just about holding on so you can see down here what's going on and what the settings are so it's uh, pretty much uh, stock XK5 as you know now it's in stereo for all you audio files and it's back into Pro Tools with nothing going on nothing going on at all over there I don't think okay so let's go and see what we've got available what we have available under the drawbar settings is A100, B3, C3, Mellow, VX, can't imagine what that stands for, FARF, no idea what that stands for, and Pipe. Okay, so there's some extra bits. You might, might remember the XK3C had a couple of settings, and then if you did that kind of Control Alt Delete claw thing, you could get some of these weird extra voices which I have actually used live in a, in a psychedelic rock band but really of, of no proper consequence they're just sort of strange noises really so uh, let's just play a little bit with each sound and then you'll get a feel for what they are I'm going to use the internal Leslie I'm going to do my standard 8888 63210 kind of sound dark sound and just get a little bit of a feel for it we'll do some slow chords first of all I think Nice enough, bright, sounded good to me. Turn up a little bit there so I can hear it a bit better. Okay, so quickly let's just whisk through. So we'll go from, I'll do a play a little of A100, A100 then I'll, I'll whip it onto B3 so you can hear that direct contrast. That might be quite nice. <laughs> Did you spot straight away there? That was a lift, wasn't it? That's a that's a brightness lift at least, I'd say. I mean, the A100 and the V3 didn't sound that different, did it? But they needed some way to distinguish the different types of drawbar. Um, I think they're trying to reflect that some organs sounded a bit darker than others, brighter than others, and depending on the age of the organ as well, you could get that, that cross talk and, and what have you. So I think that's what they're trying to reflect there. And there's C3. Now, C3 is the one I have it on, and it's it's somewhere between A100 and, and B3 on here, I think. A little bit darker. What do you reckon? So A100. I can see that B3 cutting through nicely in a church environment with a lot of flip. 
né? And that's C. And I find the C takes the overdrive and the XL overdrive a little bit better as well. It doesn't, it doesn't spike out through the Leslie as much as maybe the B does, but it depends what you, how you're trying to get it through the mix. So I'm going to take it as red that you kind of know these these settings, A100, B3, C3, they're, they're Hammond organs that are going to be kind of there or thereabouts in your wheelhouse. If they're not, you can uh, you can go and Google the things and if you can see over here, there's a C3 there, right? So, it's kind of nice that A100 sound, isn't it? Sound. Well, the C3 a little bit less complicated. They're all great, aren't they? Just and in comparison, it's very hard to tell because they're very nice sounds. I mean, when I was setting up my Leslie 3300, I set it against my gigging 145 and tried to make them sound the same and it's kind of impossible you make it sound great there but not there and all that kind of stuff then you realize just switch the one off and just come back the next morning how does that sound great <laughs> and then then you're away aren't you so anywho there are more voices now right so there's more stuff going on down here than uh, than we previously had so what's the next one on the list Mellow. Well, you might remember Mellow. Mellow has been knocking around really since XB2 time, hasn't it? And there's only a slight difference, but it it, it it is what it says, right? So, so if we were going, if we were on C3, Huge difference, really, is it? I'm... You can hear where you can hear what it's doing there. It's subtle. Just not jumping out as much is it as it as, as maybe the c3 setting was and they've been they've been working on mellow for years right so we we, we know about mellow too oh hold the phone we've got vx right well you know as i'm not uh representing hammond officially in any in any capacity i could probably say it's probably the vox continental isn't it i mean is it i don't know let's have a listen now Here's a weird thing, drawbars are slightly different now. I don't think you've got the draw, oh, you have got some drawbars here. I'll do it on here so you can see what I mean. Uh, yeah, so long story short, nothing works there if you do that until you pull out this one here. And you get that, you see, and then that is kind of a master volume for all of that setting. All right, and then you pull out this one. You just get a, a brightness. There you, go, there you go, there you go, sorry. You get a master volume, a brighter master volume for all of these. So, so long story short, nothing works until you start moving <coughs> these two drawbars. That's gonna be a configuration thing of the Vox Continental, right? Uh, I remember playing one, again, all confused, and then stopped playing it when I was messing with the draw boss. <coughs> okay, so, I'm not using those, by the way, but you can see those on the camera, which is why I'm doing it. I'm actually using this section over here. So, <coughs> nothing happens when you pull one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven draw bars out and then when you pull the, the, the furthest right black one and the one and there's a mix that's interesting isn't that does it sound like a box contest or yeah i think it does i mean that Just doesn't it really? Nearly. There we go. Um, it does. Far feasible. We'll come on to that later. So I've got the Leslie on there. Let's just have everything out and see. No, I'm not sure that Leslie. Well, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> Don't get me back. I've not done that for a while. Okay, so um, so you can with that that with that draw bar out, you can. So the sounds are coming out, aren't they? Swapping the draw bar, the top one. You get like, say, so you've got like a bass and treble, bass and middle. Well, yeah, that's coming in juttery as well. So they really built in that click as it comes through. I don't hear that when I play on the C setting. Maybe I do, maybe I, maybe I do. No, it's smooth on the C setting. So they have brought in, for whatever reason, I'm gonna go and find out, little clicks between the stops. That'll annoy one of those uh, new red type keyboards, brighter red, not the other red, but um, it's not bad at all, is it? Okay, so a really nice voicing on that Vox thing. Let's reset and see what's next on the list. Varf. Could FAF stand for FAF? No idea. Uh, or it could be FAF Visa. So let's have a look at how that sounds. And we'll start with the Leslie uh, stationery. Oh, we hear the beads coming in. That one's vicious, that one. does sound good. Maybe that's the sound. What's that next chord? Yeah. How's that? Ah, deep, yeah. Oh, God. 6, 8 and 7, 8. You remember that one? Very hard. But anyway, if you know, you know. So... I think oh, it's interesting, isn't it? All out as a thug sounds like the right way to go for me there. <laughs> so that's on the far, okay. Put the Leslie on, see what happens. Young, isn't it? Which you kind of expect. There 
SD fast. It's a nice sound, eh? I'm not sure it's a, a much used one, but it's a nice one. Farf. He's <coughs> a very nice. Finally, pipe. Okay. Well, should be a pipe organ, shouldn't it? Very quiet, that it. Get the Leslie off, shall we? <laughs> Oh, all sorts of things going on there. Okay. Now that's interesting. There's going to be a reason for this, and I don't know it, but the drawbar does nothing for a short while and it comes in. So it's like a shorter stop, isn't it? it comes in at six, it does nothing. So that's an on off, that one. Oh, they all do that. Okay, yeah. Get the reverb on, right? Right, okay, so we know we know what that is. Um that's pretty convincing too, isn't it? Needs a bit of reverb on it. like with the Leslie on probably not so good let's have a listen shall we it's all right you know why it's all right because they've disabled it but <clears throat> quite rightly know that it's going to sound terrible so it doesn't work so the Leslie buttons don't work it's a nice feature actually that is it so what have we learned we know that that we have got the the three or four organ sounds three plus mellow which we've always had we've had for quite a long time in fact i think the xk3 had the b3 and the c3 didn't it i think so we've got this extra one called a100 now down here they sound lovely, of course they do, exactly what you want. And then we've got an extra one called VX, which was the Vox. Push my mouth. Actually, I have it on bypass, I notice, and it takes away that cabinet emulation. Gives it that bit more of a reedy sound. Half. That bypass making a slight difference there. Remember, we tried to remember how to play Golden Brown and failed. We're not going to do that again. Uh, and then we and then we had the pipe organ, which we liked. So, whistle stop tour really of how the drawbars work in relation to the extra sounds and how the extra sounds works. I hoped that was useful, informative. Um, if it wasn't, do let me know. Uh, if it was, you're welcome to let me know. And I'll see you hopefully next week without that note. <laughs>